Hey everyone, here is Lori Chapados, IVB Bikini Pro and your second runner-up Mrs. Olympia. Um, getting ready for the 2019 Olympia. This is my first vlog. I'm very happy to be in my hometown at my gym. You guys see another part of my life. Um, you know, my everyday where I used to train and I'm very excited to show you this part of my little self um because you guys have been seeing me you know in la and everything but um yeah that's where i've been training for my last arnold prep and where i used to train for my olympia prep so it's fun to be here today and i also have a very 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 dear and special guest with me hi show your little face my best friend um z i'm gonna train with her today i'm gonna put her to my training are you scared a little bit She's a little scared, but I won't be like too harsh on her. Please. We're gonna do, we're gonna do upper body today, and she already trained with me once. Um, but yeah, you've been good. I mean, you don't train that much, but you still kind of like it. When I, when, when she's like, she feels that I'm like training her, she likes it. Yeah. So, but she's very good. She's been like dieting and stuff. Anyway another subject but I'm very proud of her um, she's always there like it's funny because when I go to um, different places, people are asking me like where is your best friend and I'm like oh <laughs> Sally she couldn't come today but she's always there for me she's been uh, to Tampa she went to the Olympia last year and um, she went to the Arnold and she's gonna be there at the Olympia for sure so please come by and say hi if you're planning to be there so I'm uh, gonna grab my stuff real quick in the back of the car and then go into the gym have to grab a little meal because we just photo shoot for like two hours and yeah, gonna train some upper body. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, so we're here and I'm gonna grab my little meal. I'm having about 125, not about, exactly 125 grams of fish. I mix uh, some salmon and some white fish with uh, 60 grams of rice. I'm gonna eat that pre-workout. I have my little iced coffee water with my um, intra workout, which is Flex BCAAs from GAT, my favorite. And I'm gonna eat that, wait a little bit, and then go train. I always start my back workout with this one or I finish with um, exactly this machine because it's more like a body weight exercise. I can't do it body weight because I'm not strong enough but uh, still I think it's a very good like overall workout before your back workout.
Oh, this exercise right here, if you do it like with that angle and your hand reverse, uh, it targets like a very different spot. And I feel that when you put your, um, your feet on the bench, it helps so much with your stability and like balance. So you really like focus on this upper part right here. As a bikini competitor, um, you never really want to do like a low lats movement or development because when you, you pose right here, if you develop that zone, uh, it's gonna make your waist a lot thicker. So I'm always like very working like this part right here. So it creates more of a X frame. Very very close. She's gonna see. finish. She's like, I just, I go lightweight because I wanna finish that training. <laughs> We have some very nice visits. Little special guest right here, <laughs> Cynthia IFBB Pro. Yeah. That's the veteran. Like she was, I would say like, the first bikini pro, like real bikini pro, who like killed it. Um, and she went to the Olympia in 2016. <laughs> and now you're. Are you retired? <laughs> I, you don't retired? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Yeah, that's the thing with the sport. You kind of don't want to stop. Never. Yeah. Yeah, but she has like her own company and uh, she's killing it. Like she has um, a very, those little special treats that I usually put on my story. And you can tell me, tell me about uh, it. It's yeah. a healthy snack, stabilized blood sugar. So it's really healthy, made with some uh, protein inside. Tell yeah. me more about the macros, because the macros are super bomb. Like you can't, I don't think there's, there's no treats that have like, like so good macros. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's like two gram uh, sugar per uh, snack, and uh, it stabilizes blood sugar, so it's really healthy. Like it's it's so natural ingredient. Like she had like uh, coconut oil in there, like sweet potatoes base, and she had like the best. It's a like, sweet potato brownies, exactly. and the other one it's a keto ball, so it's like higher in good fat, really low in carbs. Yeah, you use like coconut, shredded coconut. Anyway. Yes. Anyway, it's super good. Yeah, if you, if you have the chance to taste it once in the lifetime, just go ahead and when you see her, just buy like 20 of them because I'm telling you, you're going to be like <laughs> super addicted. So, um, Cynthia has been there for my Ar Arnold prep and I'm so thankful and so grateful oh. for, for her and I'm definitely going to miss her this year for the Olympia prep because I won't be here. Uh, I'm gonna be here like probably last month, but I'm gonna be in LA, but we have like this very good connection and I mean like having a friend that already has been there um, You know, it makes you just understand, right? Yeah. So it's make it easy. Yeah, yeah. It's make it easier. I'm right, so happy to see you
little tip that I have to give when I do this exercise. I keep my balance on my heels, so I feel that when I come back, I have like a very full, fuller stretch instead of like being on my tiptoe. Um, I do it on my heels, so you're like this instead of being like this, which is like less of a stress. So you put like all the stress, the stretch all over here, and putting it on your heels, and then you you do like this kind of like balance movement. But it's very, as I just said, like she's like. Am I doing this? But you kind of do it um, not even on purpose. It's just how your body do the exercise. But I feel that it's, it works out better. Sometimes in order to do a movement properly, just lower your weight. It's not like your ego thing. Lower your weight and do it properly. You're gonna have the best outcome that way. So we're done. Yeah. How was it, Mama? It was good. Hard. <laughs> she's like, nice. she's a little shaky, shaky I, right I'm not now. feeling my, my shoulders anymore, but it's okay. <laughs> so um, we're done. I still have some abs and some cardio to do, obviously, but we're gonna take a little breaky breaky. Um, gonna eat a little bit more and then uh, just answer some questions that I had on my Instagram today. Yeah, Q&A. Q&A. Okay, come on. Okay guys, we are done training. As I said, we're gonna answer a little Q&A. Um, and the first question that I saw, okay, so see, I posted this like an hour ago and see how many like, like question I have. So I'm not gonna answer them all, uh, but the first question that I saw, someone asked how me and this little schmucky doodle, how we met, um, do you want to tell the story or tell it? Uh, tell it, go ahead. Okay, so we were in Paris Cégep. It's like college, like before. Yeah, in college, yeah. we were in the same class. The first time that I saw her, I didn't really... I thought she was like bitchy-ish. <laughs> then, <laughs> when it's I... Because of the resting bitch face. Yeah, she, I, but she had... But like, she has a resting bitch face, but not that... Like, I don't know how to say it, but anyways. Like, so yeah, we're in the same class, uh, we've got to do kind of a project together and I was like, oh I like her, oh she's gonna be my best friend for sure. <laughs> and she was more like um, a writing solo girl, like she doesn't have a bunch of friends, but I was like, no, oh, I really love her, so I was, I just, we started to hang yeah, out. Yeah, I think we like learn to be together because um, as she said like I'm more like a writing solo kind of person and she's more like okay I'm doing so grocery shopping and I have to be with someone so, yeah um, I was more an introvert and she was my like extrovert, extrovert so she she kind of bring my extrovert side and I kind of bring her to the running solo side yeah we're, we're the perfect balance for each other perfect and she's, match. yeah and she's always been like super like understanding into my sport and that's what I love about her not only like understanding but like she's so supportive like like I eat for her you know and she can't I'm a cheat for you girl no but I mean like for real though yeah like, no, I know you love like being around like competition and you mm. still like you love like watching me like hustling and yeah. always like when we cook together but when, when did you did you realize like I was doing that when we met? Because I was training, I was competing yeah, and stuff. Did you realize or not? I didn't realize it was like this big of a deal actually. I was like, okay, she did cardio, <laughs> you know, like 
I, when I got to like know you better, I was like, okay, it's like it's hard and it's big, it's pretty big. So, but when we met, we were like doing, I think, your first. I was getting uh, pro show. exactly. Did it like a couple months after we met. Yeah, I was getting for my first, uh, ready for my first pro show when we met. Yeah, and you got first. I guess second. Second. That, yeah, that show. But um, yeah, she's been to Tampa. She was there at the Olympia. She was there at the Arnold, the biggest show That's of my right. life. I was there. Where else? That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Between Tampa and no, no. no. Is that crazy? Like I yeah. feel like you've been there like, to every, every like, show. Oh, my show yeah. but, but I love being there with her. You know, like you always need like the one person who's gonna support you uh, and be there when you need to. Like I just wake up with her and I love to be there for her because I love her. Obviously. So yeah. So um, best friends for life right here. She's my writer life. She's a sister I never had. She's we love my... to see each other like succeeding. Like we love to. Yes. We love to help each other. How do you say like build each other like yes we're just there we're for like each other exactly like empowerment okay let's jump into the questions just Perfect. choose the one you want to ask me okay okay so how much cardio do you do so right now i'm doing seven times a week about um 350 calories so on the star master i would say i do about uh between 27 minutes to 32 minutes um cardio okay um best way to lean out glute and legs Oh, you know that's a good question because um, you can't really like focus your weight loss so it's more like an overall so about like food but of course it also um, ge um, genetics plays a big role in it so I personally can't lose my the last fat that I lose is about like my lower back but um, to lean out glutes and hamstring I would say do like more leg focused cardio, so um, treadmill, like incline treadmill or stairmaster, and then just eat very, very clean. Um, how much sleep do you usually get? <laughs> this is very variable. So here, right now, I'm sleeping so late because I finished my cardio very, very late. And I, I would say like seven hours to six hours, like good sleep. Right yeah. now, yeah. this one is a good one. Do you recommend waxing or shaving bikini area for sure? Um, I've always shaved personally because I think it's just I'm just more lazy. Um, I've never tried wax, but I think if you want to wax, you should do it like at least two weeks before because if you have like um, a redness or like spotting, then you, you it's kind of hard to cover it with tan. It makes like it's like kind kind of blotchy tan. Okay, let me answer this one. Someone asked, are you single? No, because she's with me, obviously. <laughs> so, uh, if I'm you taking, were wondering... Oh my god, I don't want to have my ring. My ring is yeah. in my bag, but I have my best so friend ring. So, for all of y'all asking if she has someone... Yeah, she has me. So. <laughs> but, um, Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> what nationality are you? Um, so, I'm mixed. <laughs> Um, I, I was born here, obviously, but my dad is Greek from very, very far, and but he's been adopted, so I don't speak, I don't have, like, the only thing I have is, like, my features, and my mom is uh, American native. Um, you train your abs, yeah, of course. <laughs> What's the lowest your calls get down to in prep? Uh, I've been as low as 900 calories, which is very, very, extremely low, yeah. uh, very close to the show. How did it feel to be the top two at the O? Uh, honestly, it still feels surreal, but it's such a blessing. And it gives you so much, gives me so much motivation every single day to just be like, okay, I just, you know, one spot from being on top and just not being on top, but like realizing my dream. So very motivating. Um, what's your favorite cheat meal? Like if you have one. Okay, like it's sweet or savory though? Cheat meal. It's hard, but it's easy. It, it, I think I know. Okay, go ahead. What's my favorite cheat meal? I think I, I'm not sure. I go have ahead. a question. On. Burger. Okay. With with fries. Sweet potato fries. Yeah. Or and what dessert though? 
Mmm, cheesecake, That's but not a regular cheesecake. Like a cheesecake <laughs> with brownies and... All the extra. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I would say that's my favorite, but I also really, really like... Like, am I ever, if I could eat that every day, I would say like shish tao. Like, oh I yeah, it, I forgot about such, this. It's such a great balance. You have like the rice, you have the little salad thing, and then they're marinated chicken with the garlic sauce so good and if you want to win her heart you have to give her like some extra what's, what's called like the pink thing the pink yes thing um, that they put in, sh in the yeah. in the sandwich or, anyways it's pink you have it in every shisho and if you want to win her heart it's the best way yeah. extra uh, how do you remain, remain so point <laughs> <laughs> what does coin to <laughs> Who asked that? James? Yeah! <laughs> so James, how do I remain how so coin? How did quaint? you know? Because <laughs> he's the only one who knows that I use coin for everything. So coin is my word for everything because I don't know. Everything is so coin to me. That's right. Like, she starts saying say this every time. This is so coin. <laughs> Look at the street. It's so coin. And I was like, what? So, um... Yeah, you know, sometimes French and English is a little touchy, but yeah, everything is quaint. I don't know how I maintain this quaintness, James. So, James? Probably because of you. Um, <laughs> what's your biggest concern when in show prep? My biggest concern is not to be my 100% best self. So in order to be my 100% best self, I just give my 100% best self every single day so I don't let... No, I don't leave no stones unturned when it comes to press. Um, That's why you'll never, like, if you see me like, cooking cake or cooking, like, anything for my family or even someone is like, just take take a bite. I'm like, I won't even take a bite, even though it doesn't change anything in the end. For me, if I go on stage and knowing that I ate this bite, like, I, I know that I'm not a hundred percent. Someone said, do you do fasted cardio? Not at the moment, and I honestly, I don't really like fasted cardio. I like it when I'm off season. I don't know why, but I feel like I eat more food. But when I'm uh, in prep, I'm very concerned about um, losing my muscles because I work so hard for my muscle, and I don't want to go on a fasted cardio and having the risk of losing these muscles. So many people asked, how, how old are you? Okay, so I'm 23 years old. Um, last one. Last one. Okay, last show. one. Um, like, There's so many. How many carbs do you eat when is the peak week? On peak asked? week? Yeah. A okay, so every show is different. Every prep is different um, for so many reasons. Metabolism, environment, um, how many preps have you been at? So I've done peak weeks where I eat literally like 100 grams of carb for the week or peak week where I eat 400 grams of carb per day. So it's very, very different every single week. We're done. So we're done. Thank you for being part of my little first road to the Olympia video. Uh, we're 12 weeks out, guys. This is going to be an awesome prep. I won't be here. I'm going to be back in probably July. August, like end of July. But you're going to be in LA yeah. in July. I'm so happy to have her around. Um, she's the best support. I want to say thank you guys for all your love and support. This prep is going to be so different because you remember last year the Olympia? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We were only you and me at my table. Like nobody knew me. But it's gonna, it's be, gonna be so different. It's gonna be so different. Oh, but so I appreciate your support, your love, all the messages that I get. Um, you guys are so the best, so supportive. And I'm coming into this prep knowing that I will give my everything, I promise. And see you at the O. And thank you again for coming into my channel today. Please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and yeah, stay tuned for the other episode.